Okay, this was the increment where I promised to show you that the Jews still account time the way I'm showing in the Pauline Anaphora. Um, you can download this calendar for yourself to see it. Right here is where you can download it at kluach.com. And you got different versions depending on what kind of computer you got. <coughs> you can also download it from aish.com, but the, they keep changing the link, so that's why I just went straight to Kaluach. And this is what it looks like. This is Kaluach 3, which I downloaded a couple years ago. Okay. And I'm running it on XP, so that's why it's capable with Windows 7. See, their calendar is completely wrong. This is not the year 5773, okay, from Adam. This, this, their calendar is based on something called the Seder Olam Rava, which was a promised time calendar, which um, was done wrong. Um, I want to say it was like 45 BC, something like that in that area. Um, it was done wrong. They eliminated the time under the Persian kings, that Israel was under the Persian kings. And so somebody forgot that that's how the calendar was initially done and that it was done wrong. Nobody went back to the Bible to actually see what the Bible says the years are. And of course, that's in the Old Testament. All right? <clears throat> so they never fixed it. So it's really bad scholarship on Judaism's part. I'm sorry. You know, if it's bad scholarship, it's bad scholarship no matter who does it. This is wrong. This 5773. Completely wrong. And as you can see, the Kulak people still think that, you know, that's what it's supposed to be. See? It's completely wrong. Sorry. All right? And then they go through this a lot of pill pull, which, you know, this is what I'm trying to explain. How many years from what... And what year is, is this, and how does this relate to this other past date in history? Okay. And they're also wrong in saying that it's 5773 years from the creation of the world. No, it's not. It's from Adam's fall. Genesis 3.22 begins the numbering of days, not prior. So it's when Adam fell, and how old the earth is, well, who knows? Okay. So see, now they're doing... 12 months in the year, you're 16 of the, of the cycle 304. These are all wrong numbers, but this just shows you how they account. You're 16 of the cycle 304 of the lunar cycle. You're not supposed to use lunar years. That's wrong. Exodus 12 specifies solar years. So the Jews are wrong on the way they count the year. They're wrong on the number of years. And, you know, nobody's bothering to check with the Bible to see what God said you should do with time. So they're screwed up. But... They remember, because they've been doing it forever, that they're supposed to be accounting years from something. So this is year 16 from their wrong lunar small cycle. This is year 5 from their wrong solar cycle. This isn't how it works. But it does show this how they account it. Then the year 5 of the Shemitah, which means, you know, every 7 years. All right. And then 1044 years from the destruction of our holy temple. No, it's not. It's not 1944 years from the destruction of the temple. See, look. This is 20, we'll say 2012, just for the sake of argument. The temple was destroyed in 70 AD. See, they can't even count that right because they're using lunar years. Okay? I don't know why anybody... Jews are some of the smartest people on earth. Why aren't they doing their math right? I don't know. Christians, of course, I, you expect them to get it wrong. But you don't expect the Jews to get it wrong. But they did. 65 years from the establishment of the state of Israel. See? They're doing years from. Uh-oh. It's starting to hang. My, my screen recorder is starting to hang. So I'm going to stop here, download the Kalua calendar yourself, and you can see it yourself, and then you can see the rest of this timeline. i got to sign off now because my computer's going.